Hey Aruna. Hi Manzi. Um, do you know how organisms get rid of gaseous waste? Oh yes, of course. We studied about it in respiration chapter. Oh yes, but what are these products and how nitrogenous waste products are removed from our body? Hmm. Nitrogenous waste products are produced during the metabolic processes and they are uh, urea, ammonia, uric acid, etc. Oh really? How these nitrogenous products affect our body? These nitrogenous waste products are very harmful for our body. Oh, but if they are harmful, so how they are removed from our body? Mm, I don't know about the process. We'll ask it to ma'am. Oh, here she comes. Hello students, how are you? Hello, Hello ma'am. Ma we are very fine ma'am. Ma'am, can you please tell us how the waste products are removed from our body? Yes, I'll tell you about it. The waste products are removed by the process of excretion. Ma'am, can you please explain what excretion is? Mansi, the biological process involved in the removal of harmful metabolic waste is called excretion and different organisms use different strategies to do this. Unicellular organisms remove this metabolic waste from their body surrounding by simple diffusion. On the other hand, multicellular organisms use specialized organ to do this. Did you get it kids? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma but ma'am, how does this process execute in our body? Human beings have special organs for excretion and these are called kidneys. Now look at the computer screen. You can see the diagram of excretory system. The kidneys are red and bean shaped structure present in the abdomen region and they are on either side of the backbone. The kidneys are connected to the ureters and the ureters are connected with a urinary bladder and a urethra and through urethra urine is passed okay but ma'am can you define what is this urine urine is the waste produced in the kidneys and from kidneys it passes through the ureters into the urinary bladder where it stores until it is released from the urethra this is so interesting ma'am but i was wondering what is the purpose of this urine formation Actually, the purpose of urine formation is to remove the nitrogenous metabolic waste such as ammonia, urea and uric acid from the blood. You must know the carbon dioxide is removed from the blood in lungs. Yes, yes ma'am. Now you can see on the computer screen, the basic filtration unit of kidney is nephron which is very thin walled blood capillaries. Each capillary cluster or glomerulus in the kidney is associated with cup shaped end of tube called Bowman's capsule. Ma'am, does urine contains only water? No, urine contains water and waste product. Some substances like glucose, amino acids, salts and large amount of water which are filtered initially, they are selectively reabsorbed as urine flows along the tube. The amount of water reabsorbed depend on the amount of excess water present in the body and the amount of dissolved waste to be excreted. Urine from the kidney comes to the ureter and from where it goes to the urinary bladder. In urinary bladder, urine is stored until the pressure of the expanded bladder leads to the urge to pass it through the urethra. The bladder is a muscular organ, so it is under the control of nerves. As a result, usually we can control the urge to urinate. Now I hope you understand that the kidneys are vital organs for our survival. Yes ma'am, and I am very amazed to know about this well organized and regulated process. Ma'am. But what happens if the kidney fails to work? Very good question, Mansi. Several factors like infections, injury and restricted blood flow to the kidney reduces the functioning of the kidney. And due to this, there is an accumulation of poisonous substance in our body 
which can lead to the death. Case of kidney failure, artificial kidneys can be used and it is a device which is used to remove nitrogenous metabolic waste from the blood by the process of dialysis. Ma'am, I have a query. How these artificial kidneys work? Artificial kidney contains a number of tubes with a semi-permeable lining suspended in a tank filled with dialyzing fluid. This fluid has the same osmotic pressure as blood except that it is devoid of nitrogenous waste. The patient's blood is passed through these tubes. During this passage, the waste products from the blood pass into dialyzing fluid by diffusion and the purified blood is pumped back into the patient. The process is similar to the functions of the kidney but the only difference is that the selective reabsorption does not take place in artificial kidneys. Ma'am, uh, how much amount of blood is filtered daily? Good question Mansi. In healthy adult, the amount of initial filtrate in kidney is 180 liters daily. However, the actual volume excreted is 1 or 2 liters in a day because the remaining filtrate is reabsorbed by the kidney tubules. Okay, okay ma'am. Ma so, this is all about excretion in human beings. Students, tell me, what do you know about excretion in plants? Ma'am, we know that in plants, the food is produced by the process of photosynthesis and this food is utilized for the energy production which is later on transported to various organs. Um, and the metabolic waste so produced need to be excreted out. Very good. Let's talk about this in detail. Take a look on the screen. Plants excrete through various means. By simple diffusion, oxygen can be released out through stomata. The excess of water is also released through stomata by transpiration and various other excretory substances like raisins, gums have different mechanisms. Raisins, gums can be stored in the old xylem which is dead. These stored remains don't pose any threat to plants. Other excretory substances can be stored in cellular structure vacuole which moves to aging leaves of the plants which later fall off or they can excrete into surrounding soil. Did you get it kids? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma now tell me what have you learned today? Ma'am, today we have learnt about concept, structure and process of excretory system in human beings. Yes ma'am, we have also understood about the role of vacuole and other organs like stomata in the role of excretion in plants. So, students, I hope you understood the importance of excretory system. Let's conclude at this point. Goodbye. Thank, Thank you, you ma'am. Ma